Greetings, salutations, Dr. Donya Bosses, Los Everybody. Hi. I've got a bone to throw at this guy. No, I got a bone to pick. You know. I'm not naked, people. Ain't that weird? <laughs> Make a video, but naked. <laughs> That's what you do after you kick back some of that country boy crunk juice, dog back. Hey, I'm gonna tell you right now. Matter of fact, I'm gonna let him tell you. Um, all the views and everything, Free Information Act, fair and balanced news. Uh, anyway, I don't monetize, so it doesn't matter. So let's start this. Hello, it's Skylar B. with the Hunters Against the NRA. So today I'd like to talk a little bit about Adam Calhoun and Ryan Upchurch. I've been seeing their videos for the past year. They've been shared pretty much everywhere. Some kind of like minor internet sensation. It's, oh, it's not like Chris Crocker or something like that. It's, it's less than that. And I, I don't get it. I don't know why people think that they're legit. And I don't know. It's, it's kind of like Duck Dynasty, you know. It's like there's really a contrived kind of character going on there. And, you know, there's people like myself. And then there's these people that are... Above it, of course. That way of a video like this. When did you stop? Like the fake country boys that, you know, they think like Garth Brooks was like the peak of country music. Garth Brooks. And this is where I think a lot of the Adam Calhoun and Ryan Upchurch fans are. These are the kind of people that will put like monster energy drink stickers on the back of their pickup trucks. And, oh, you know, they'll have like some Ford pickup from like, you know, the past like five years or something. Like they always have to have something new and shiny. Like it, it's not real country. Like they, they'll take their, they'll, they'll take their truck to the car wash like every day. And then they go home and they share these Ryan Upchurch and Adam Cowan videos. And that's sad. That's sad to me. You know, and also these people glorify guns. And this is irresponsible. And this is completely irresponsible to the point where, you know, it's dangerous to actual country people like myself huh? and to actual rangers and everybody else who, you know, we've dealt with firearms before. And Bar arm. It's 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 not good. It, you, you watch their videos and it's like just a throwback. You know what I mean? It's it's like a throwback to an irresponsible time. We're now in the 21st century, and in the past two months, we've we've had so many shootings. And these people, they think that the NRA is the the uh, the way to go. They they think that they can defend lobbyists and the military industrial complex. Well, I'm sorry, but you know. I don't agree with that, and I don't think Brother that we should be sharing their videos anymore until they can come clean and say, you know what, the, the NRA and firearms in general, citizen ownership, it, it's gone on too far, and it's time that we get real, that at the very most, that you know, firearms in this country only belong in like video games and museums, and I don't know if that's going to happen. You know, I'd like to see that from them. But I'm pretty sure that they're going to continue on with the old ways. And while the rest of the world, the rest of the world, you know, we move on from firearms. So, sorry, I'm not into these guys. You know, if you are, you know, leave me a comment, tell me why. And hopefully you're with me, though, because I, I think it's important that we realize it's it's time to get real. It's time to get real about the NRA. It's time to get real about gun violence and the Second Amendment. Ammunition, what do you know about the NRA? Lord have mercy. Oh, no. So, uh, okay. Hey, you know what? Uh, you got, uh, you got my money? Huh? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll pay you soon. Yeah, well, um, here's a suggestion. Um, have the money by tomorrow and there won't be any problems. Huh? Yeah, 24 hours. Why? What, what happens in 24 hours? Eh? I don't know. Not psychic, man. I'm just saying it would probably be better for everybody if you had the money tomorrow. Yeah, all right. I'll see what I can do. Sweet, sweet, great. So, uh, it's been 24 hours. Got my money? Oh, I. Right. You know what? Just give me till next Friday. I'll have it for you. Oh. Oh, that's fine.
funny. I could have sworn I said have it today. Yeah, I don't have it, sorry. Oh, well, all right then. Mm, that's good, OJ. <laughs> yeah, that hurt. That hurt. What the hell? That's enough. All right. Gosh, almighty. How graphic is that? Okay, but basically, I am going to leave him a comment. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to put the link to this in the, uh, this video description. I don't do that enough. I really don't. People, y'all don't understand how much I have to write. Like, it's bad. You know. But anyway, enough about me. <laughs> I shouldn't leave this up here. Kids, don't watch this. So, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to tell you. Here, I'm going to turn myself right so that. Wow. Like, like, wow. Wow. What else can you say but wow? I don't agree. That's my right, and he has his right to express his opinions and beliefs. I'm not going to say he's wrong. Uh, I think he's off... Uh, I think he's a little uneducated. Um, a lot misinformed. Actually, I challenge this cat to go to a Ryan Up Church show. Some people call them concerts. I call them shows. Go to Ryan Up Church get together. And you will find some of the most humble, American loving, heritage loving, just down to earth, just not in the south or the north or the east or the west, but honestly, I see Ryan Up Church bringing this nation together because we are divided by left and right and half left, half right, about face. <laughs> Sorry, people. Flashbacks. No, but uh, we need a united America, not a divided America like we are. If we are going to make it, if we are going to be a superpower, like he talked about the military-industrial complex, come on, man. It's not the 1940s. Shit. Prescott Bush is dead. Uh, like I said, this cat's a little uh, misinformed. He looks young. He needs to take some um, history classes. I shouldn't say he needs. You should, or it would behoove you to take some history classes. Take some humanities, you know. Take some cultural history. I mean, hey, man. Get out to your mommy daddy's garage, you know. Uh, it actually saddens me. It saddens me that this cat How uneducated you are. And obviously, you never met Ryan Up Church. I show. So, that is my take. That is my stance. That is my story, and I'm sticking to it. Hey, be yourself, y'all. I'm out. Let's see if I do a mic drop. If I can do a mic drop this time, that means... Ryan Up Church is going to release an album tomorrow. Three, two, one. Mic drop.
Son of a bitch.